Hey, the week's almost over. Just Cheese Friday tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I know. We're off cadence. That's all right. For a little while, I think we're going to do a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and then if I have something interesting, we'll, uh, we'll get it out there. I don't know. Everything's crazy. My life is crazy. I know you know because I've been talking nonstop about it. Con is in two weeks. So, however, I know it's the new year, so a lot of people are diet crazy. And uh, so they're jumping on to uh, the beef, butter, bacon, eggs, going whole whole hog. I'm not. I'm staying my course. Uh, my uh, elimination BBBE time has come to a conclusion very happily on my behalf. You know, I'm sure there were tons of benefits, but for me, the biggest benefit of all was discovering my shrimp problem. So, however, people are posting all their steaks everywhere. So... Yes, I'm having a steak. However, it is not a big old fancy ribeye. I am not one of the people who can afford to eat three ribeyes a day every day. Uh, I just have a big old honking piece of chuck steak. It is what it is. I uh, cooked it off on my pellet grill, which gives it nice flavor. I splurged and put some of my Spiceology uh, truffle on it. Uh, and uh, some uh, smoked salt. I know, smoke on smoke. I really like smoky flavors. And some uh, ghost flakes on it. Uh, it. It needs a little help because it is a chuck steak. And it was not prime. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff that goes around. People get really worked up. You know, hey, I can only eat grass-fed, uh, grass-finished uh, prime beef because that's the optimal for health. And, and it is. But let me tell you, I don't have the wallet for grass-fed, grass-finished prime beef every single day. In fact, it's kind of a rare treat. I have chuck steak budget, and so that's what I have. I have a, like, um, about, uh, it was like 0.85 pounds of, uh, of, of a size of steak, but I'm very pleased with it. It tastes great. The texture's fine. Is it ribeye? No, but it's pretty good. So I want you to know that you can, in fact, have a sustainable and healthy lifestyle without having to take out a second mortgage or a big loan. Uh, you do what you need to do. You still will have good health just simply by eliminating the uh, processed carbohydrates. Uh, even some of the people who proponent, who are proponents of the grass-fed, grass-finished, you know, very bougie ingredients have said, hey, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. That's okay if what you can eat is uh, hot dogs and, uh, and mustard because it will still be better than eating potato chips and, uh, you know, Cheetos and discount cereal. So... I just wanted to assure you, you are not alone. It's expensive out there. It was expensive before our economy needed a, a, an assist. So hopefully prices will go down soon. But you know, there's a chicken flu, so eggs are getting expensive. So times are tough. And I just want you to know there are ways. And I love hearing your economical savings and how you work on things. Let's talk about that over the next uh, week or so. How are we going to save some monies and how we are going to still continue to work on our good health. I'm going to continue and let you know that, hey, I've been doing it. I've been doing the meditation and it has helped a lot. I have been also, I have uh, fully reworked myself up back to my 15k steps a day just like normal, just like pre-ankle injury. And uh, 
it was too soon the last time I attempted a bike ride. Uh, and it result it did set me back a little bit, just going a very short distance. So, but now I am doing so much better and I actually went back and I stepped things in. I've been doing some light yoga and Pilates, some, uh, some entry level Pilates, not like my normal, you know, my, my, uh, shredding type of stuff. So, um, I'm going to try this weekend to hop on the bike for a little bit. It's going to be inside, not outside. And uh, unfortunately, Zwift is actually harder than outside. So I'm a little bit hesitant, but I'm going to just, I'm going to pick the easiest route that is on there. And I already know which one it is. And I'm going to try and ride it. It's not going to be far. It's not going to be long. I'll still do all my other stuff. I'm just working my way back up to being uh, where I was which was a lot further along than this. I actually felt like during my injury, I did actually physically get softer and I don't care for that. It's not, it's not like some kind of misery thing, but you know, when you've been in another spot and you know how to get there and you can't do it because of an injury is very frustrating. It's just an emotional frustration. But in the meantime, I'm going to eat this steak. Steak is powerful. Your muscles, right? Oh, and one other thing, oh my gosh, these weather fluctuations are killing me. My eyes are all puffy today. I don't know about you guys, but when the weather goes from like super cold to really nice spring and then back down to super cold, oh, it is killing my sinuses. They are unhappy. And as the result, is, uh, it's impacting my eyes. So I'm going to have to be more aggressive with my eye drops and that's pretty much all you can do about it and get some better rest. So happy, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend again. Hooray. And I'm so ready for it. I need it. Hmm. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just a rambling mood today. And I have a little bit more to ramble about. Just garbage, just garbage vlog stuff about my life going. So no worries. Nothing important, nothing critical, not even a big rant. So I'll see you in a few. So I don't remember what I was so excited about this morning. I had something in my head that I wanted to talk to you about. And then everything went bonkers between work and the convention. And whatever I had went completely out of my mind. <clears throat> I'm having a printer issue. Uh, again, because I just had one, my, my personal printer is dead. Um, I don't know what to do about it. I was not prepared to have that big expenditure and I've got to get it fixed up. Something I've got to, I can't not have a printer. So in the meantime, I've also got to get a few things, uh, set up to print and figure out if I am going and buying a new printer or if I am, uh, just going to deal with it, send stuff to FedEx for a, this week to have it ready for a convention and uh, circle back around to my printer problem after that, after convention. But you guys, my condiments package ar arrived, so I'm all set for my sandwiches for con. Um, I'm just going to make some of that egg white bread to take with me and then <sighs> shameful but for, because basically I'm the only, you know, well, uh, family members are also keto, but uh, no one else in my department is keto. And I do want to make sure that if there's an emergency and they don't have time to hit the food court with their vouchers or uh, whatever, if things go wrong, or maybe, you know, they haven't had to do that much running around for a long time and suddenly uh, two meals plus some garbage snackage is not hitting them well and they need like some actual food so i am gonna buy a regular bread which i have not done in years you know what i picked the whatever bread looked the nicest at costco and i've put it on my list of things to buy because i figure even though i have uh, my fancy pants uh cold cuts they can eat that on regular bread and it'll be fine and I just was like, I was blown away. I was like, bread, how do I buy bread? As if I didn't used to eat bread like many years ago, but it has been a long time. It's 2023. I started keto in 2013, guys. Hey, it's almost a 10 year milestone. How about that? Wow. 
and what a difference it's made in my life. So, oh my gosh, we're going to have to do something special when that 10-year anniversary comes around, aren't we? How exciting. I just realized that. So that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I completely forgot. But, uh, you know, I would say it would be nice if you leave a comment on this video and uh, tell me some kind of something. I don't know, just say anything. Something nice, something positive, something encouraging to you or others or something. But you definitely want to leave a comment on this video. And that's all I'm going to say about it. But you will regret it if you don't. So I will talk to you all later. You have a fantastic day. Oh, and my other meal today after my big honkin' piece of meat, I had a hot cereal using the uh, sticky bun keto chow. And I will say, since uh, as a shake, it was sort of like, eh, uh, hot. Man, it really helped bump up the flavor, and that made it uh, really good. Like, I would buy it again. So it was a big game changer. Warming it up really brought forward the flavor. So, yeah, there you go. New recommendation. Anyways, so leave them comments. So you have a good one. Bye-bye.